I was watching an I Hypocrite video entitled Unpalatable Gaze, and as much as I hate to agree with him about the statistics, I also disagree with him about a myth that he and many other people perpetuate, and that is the notion that the pride festivals and marches are getting out of hand and are too extreme. Out of hand? I guess you could argue that. They're certainly a lot more popular. They're certainly a lot bigger than they used to be. But too extreme? I'm like, no, honey. You must not have been to any of the pride marches and festivals before high-speed internet, before smartphones, before Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube. Most pride celebrations in larger cities were a hell of a lot more extreme than they are now. Want to know why that changed? For the sheer fact that it went mainstream. Kids attend. It gets a lot of coverage. So it's pretty much a guarantee that anything that happens at any of these pride events, someone is going to have recorded on one of these. You know, and it'll, it'll, and if it's something that's controversial, you'll see it on YouTube, you'll see it in other places, you know. But they had to tone it down, or they'd be shut down. I don't think these pride events, these pride festivals and marches, are for kids. They shouldn't be for kids. You know, as I said before, they used to be very, very adult. And depending on your perspective, they still are to a degree. But, you know, again, nothing like they were in the 90s. Having said that about their extreme level, they are getting huge. And once something gets that huge and is talked about that positively by so many people, especially by media, that it starts to become something that people assume is a family event. There will be some people who argue that it is a family event, and I'm just like, no, I, I don't think so. Size-wise, in Seattle... It used to be, it, the, the Pride March would start on Broadway, and it would end at Volunteer Park. And Volunteer Park is a, and Broadway is, it was, the, was the gay district, the gay section of Seattle. So, um, but at, at Volunteer Park, you know, not a very big park. It had one stage, you know, performance stage. Whereas now, it takes place in downtown Seattle. It starts on 4th Avenue, goes down 4th Avenue, it eventually ends at the Seattle Center. You know, where the Space Needle is. You know, it's, it's, it's a huge event and there's multiple performance stages going on at the same time. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big event. It's huge. And it has a lot of sponsors. But it's a huge event that draws in a lot of people. Now... One of the problems that I'm finding, thanks to a number of people I've had discussions with on this platform, here on YouTube, as well as other platforms, is that if we were to go by the way that mainstream media, mainstream news, and what you find in Hollywood and what you find on social media, if we go by the way those places talk about LGBT, just how much advertising and merchandise you find being promoted during, during June. Yeah, with all of that combined, it makes someone think that LGBT makes up like 30% of the population. According to statistics, only 5.1% of adult women identify as LGBT. Only 3.9% of adult men identify as LGBT. And only 0.6% of adults identify as transgender. That's certainly not 30%. Now, I'm not saying that media, you know, in case you somehow are going to try to combat with, with me saying, oh, nobody's saying it's 30%. Well, no, not directly. But if you go by how much it gets mentioned and how, how it gets talked about and the merchandise, and you'd, you'd think that the percentage is really huge. The percentage hasn't changed, really. There's... There are some that are that have arguably changed, uh, dealing with some trans issues, but that's not going to be what I talk about in this video. 
So generally, the, you know, the, the, the percentages haven't changed. But I'm all for LGBT being proportionally represented in, in our entertainment and media. I don't think we should hijack already well-known characters and make them LGBT. But, you know, Hollywood seems to be out of ideas that they can suck the fun out of. So they keep rebooting everything that makes money. Woohoo! I think a gay Spider-Man is a stupid concept. I hope it remains merely a hypothetical. Now, if we were in a different universe and there wasn't such a thing as Super Spider- Super? Sp Super Spider-Man, yes. Um... If there wasn't such a thing as Spider-Man, then, you know, starting off with, with this Spider-Man as a gay character, fine. But come on, don't, don't do that. It's, it's, it's just a hypothetical for now. There wasn't anything really pushing it too much. It was just some, some drama, I guess you could call it, in Hollywood. Because someone got interviewed who said uh, the, the current uh, person playing Spider-Man said that they that, of course, they don't have a problem with the idea of Spider-Man being a gay character. Anyway, more back on subject. I don't think that we need an entire Pride Month. Not for a demographic that makes up less than 5% of the population. You know, a Pride Week? Have an official Pride Week? Hey, that's cool. That's cool. But a whole Pride Month? I don't know. I, I, I do think it's kind of overkill. But, you know, Bill Clinton first declared June as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month in 1999. And Obama declared June as LGBT Pride Month in 2009. And there was Proclamation 8529 by Obama. You know, back in the 90s, when people would say that, uh, oh, well, they're okay with gay people as long as they don't smear it in my face all the time. Because, I mean, at that time, it certainly wasn't being smeared in people's faces. But the way things are now, especially with the way that corporations have really tried to capitalize on the whole thing, the end result really is that LGBT pride is smeared in people's faces for the entire month of June. From edibles to wireless providers, from clothing to toys, LGBT pride is everywhere in the month of June. Makes me sometimes wonder, hmm, why aren't they trying to capitalize on Black History Month? I guess it's not as profitable. I guess it's not something that has pretty colors that's easy to virtue signal over. Anyway. <laughs>